Hello, Ben Hart. How's it going? Uh, this is uh, Dan Durst. Uh, this is the guy from the uh, WISN story that you guys ran the other week regarding the uh, Menominee Falls Black Lives Matter protest. Um, I just wanted to call in regards to uh, what I believe you omitted. Uh, my, my attorney's been in contact with you, or trying to be in contact with you, regarding some of the omissions from that story. I talked to you and him at the same time just a minute ago. He told me his name was you. So are, are you representing yourself? My name is Dan Durst. Yeah, I'm calling about the recordings. Okay. The, 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 now, hold on, Dan. Hold on, I gotta ask you a question. Yes. We, we, we got off last time when your attorney, he didn't do very much for you. I don't know if he's really good. He called and he said his name was Steve Selba. Is yes. that the right guy? Yes. Then he told me he was Dan Durst. So which one, why would somebody do that? Uh, I'm not sure if, well, I mean, I'd, strange, right? I'd have to look it's into that. To deal with people. It's, it's hard to deal with people who would do something like that. Well, it's, it's hard to deal with people who would omit the fact that I was assaulted. Dan, Dan, I was assaulted Dan, by somebody Dan, at this event. Dan, yes, Dan, yes, yes. Don't, don't cut me off while I'm talking. I'm trying to be really fair with you. No, you're not, because you omitted the fact that I was assaulted and had my property damaged. Dan, Dan. Yes? I'm trying to tell you, tell you what happened today. So that I can explain to you where I am with your complaint, I guess is what you're making right now. I want you to understand how hard it is for me to even get started if I'm not sure who's dealing with me. I had a call from someone who claimed to be a lawyer who called me dumb okay. on the phone. And I'll tell you what, at that point, any, any lawyer can tell you, when you badger someone, it probably won't get anything out of them. Okay. So here's what happened. The, the man who's in charge of everything that comes out of the, every eye of the buck stops with me, was trying to listen to you and your point. And somebody called me, told me that they were two different people, and then called me when I say, hey, I'm confused because you just gave me two names. Called me, well, I'm dumb. I don't think he's a good lawyer for you because that didn't get you anywhere. And now what I think, Dan, is you may need to talk to my attorneys because I'm not an attorney. I'm not good at that. I'm not, you know, I'm not a litigator of any, any kind. But I am good at telling stories and telling people's facts. Last week when we tried to do that story, I'm sure we reached out to you. No, see, they, here's the thing. They reached out to me when I had a 30-day yeah. ban from Facebook, and so I was unable to I respond. Hear you, I hear you. So basically, they, basically, what I'm trying to tell you, can I, please, can I please try to tell you, man, like, video was omitted of a bunch of people being swarmed, harassed, threatened, and, you know, a lot of violent things happening, and you guys basically tried to paint it as if I was instigating and trying to, you know, bark all these racist things at people. Don't you think that that's, and, and, then, and then you interviewed people with masks on that you didn't identify, right? And you didn't identify the person that you're doing the story on, right? I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to get my point across, man. And you're not listening to me. You called my office, right? Right. I'm trying. I'm trying to tell you the story, man. I'm trying to tell you what's happening. You want me to send you the videos? Right. No, I saw your video. I saw the video you have. I looked you up. Would you like for me to send you the full video that you may or may not have seen? No, I saw the one. I saw the thing you put on Facebook Live for everyone. I saw it. I'm I'm banned off of Facebook right now, bro. What do you mean? Oh, I understand. I understand. But I saw the video you put the one that's on YouTube or what's on your on your YouTube link. I've seen it. I looked it up. You didn't see. You didn't see the full context. Stop. Stop. Hold on. See, this is the thing. You just gotta let me talk. If you ask me a question, I'll tell you. You you tell me something, and then I'll tell you something, and that's how communication works best. I want to be able to speak to you and understand what you're, what you're, what I can do. If there's anything I can do for you, I want you to understand me, and I'm going to give you all of the steps of, of what the press are going to do in any situation. So what happened, right? We we were alerted to what people said was an uncomfortable opportunity out there at the thing. We reached out to you because we figured out who you were. We reached out to those people. They actually reached out to us, and we talked to them because it was a big deal. And everybody knew, and I think you knew it was a big deal because you posted it on YouTube. Right? You talked to masked people that you didn't identify, and I've been put into danger because of this, man. I'm still talking to you. Yeah, but you're not listening to what's happening, fundamentally. I don't listen while I'm talking. That's the thing. We got two, two ears and one mouth. While I, while I talk, you listen. While you talk, I listen. How about I send you the video and you can issue a retraction? How about I that? Need, I, don't need you, I don't need you to ever yell at me. It will never work for you. Not to talk to me this way. I want you to get it. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm starting. You know, I started that story about your lawyer because it's disrespect. 
And if you want to talk to somebody with respect, I am all in. I'm the most respectful person you'll ever meet. I think he may have, I think, what, can I just tell one thing, please, just one thing, bro. You cut me off. Uh, listen, I'm going to tell you what happened. You, or someone like you, who is your, your lawyer, called me and called me dumb. And I am the, I want you to understand, the manager of the newsroom, who is trying my best, even right now, to share with you what I, if there's anything in the world I could do, what I would be able to do. And you're cutting me off right now, which is okay, cutting me off is fine. But earlier, the person who represents you called me dumb. So at this point, I really have zero, zero interest in this conversation. I could just send you directly to my attorney. But I'm trying to hear you out because now you say you're Dan. Yes. Somebody else. If, you're, if somebody else is, yeah, I think you need to hunt this down. Someone else told me they were Dan and called me Dan. I think what he meant was that he represents, Hold on, Dan. Hold on, Dan. he represents Dan. Dan. Don't think, because you don't know anything about it. You told me he you represents know Dan. Man, you got a lot of, you got a big soliloquy to say. You're not letting me say anything, man. You're not letting me get a word in edgewise. You got a whole soliloquy that you want to say to me, man. Can you just take the video down? Can you take the video down, please, and issue a retraction? Please. Why? Sir, please. Antifa and BLM have been threatening me. They've been threatening my livelihood. Can you please just take the video down? No, and why? If you don't want to hear why, that's a soliloquy. So you can stop it, or you can listen. Okay, I'll right? listen. Why Why do you not want to take the video down? No, why do you not? It doesn't matter why, because that's a soliloquy, Dan. Isn't it right? Didn't I just tell you I was telling you what was happening, and you cut me off to ask me? I just told you what I was going to do. You are smarter than me, right? I'm dumb. You were dodging, you were dodging everything that I had to say, you, man. Do you lawyer think I'm dumb? I didn't say dumb. I said nothing of the sort, man. I think that you are duplicitous. I think you are duplicitous. I think you are dishonest. I think you are duplicitous. That's what I think. We've come to a disagreement, and I think that that's the end of the conversation, right? Please take that video down. Listen, no, and I want you to hear me. I've come to a place where I'm trying to explain something to you, and you're cutting me off to tell me what to do. I'm trying to explain to you what your options are. All right, go ahead. Cut me off. Go ahead. No, no, I don't do it because you want. You don't want my soliloquy. So what I'll do is give you the number to my attorney. Is that what you want? Because then you can talk to them. That's what I think you need. Because frankly, the person who can do it with no problem is me. And I tried to talk to you, Dan. I want you to remember. What time is it? You called me, oh gosh, seven minutes ago, eight minutes ago. And, and you're telling me whatever I had to say was not, a, it was too, it was too much talking for you because you had something to do. Because you're sidestepping what you're sidestepping what we're talking about Listen, is that you ran a hit piece on me where you omitted the fact that I was assaulted and had my property broken. Listen to me. You have a YouTube page that calls you the worst. That's the name of your YouTube page. I know who you are. I know what you want. So, I've, so what I'm telling you is I, I just let you call me to discuss with me what you wanted and I tried to explain to you why I'm starting with this kind of defensive posture because someone who says they represent you as a lawyer called here and called me out of my name. That's how we started. And then you called three or four times since then. The person who called me out of my name also claimed to be you. Now I don't know what your lawyer and you have worked out. It's none of my business. But I want you to understand it, that respect goes a long way. And it's really simple. I tried to talk to you just a minute ago, and you told me to stop because it was a soliloquy. It's been less than 30 seconds right now. And all I wanted you to know is that if there was anything I could do, it's probably done right now. Because the way you've talked to me and the fact that you called me dumb does not get anything. No, I didn't. I'll tell you what's good about it. Hold on, sir. I'll tell you what's good about it. We've done everything we could in telling your story to reach out to you. We didn't know your phone number. We didn't know your lawyer's phone number. We didn't know your real name. We didn't know any of that. Because, frankly, that's the way you, you, you set up your, your YouTube page. Incorrect, sir. Incorrect. That is a complete lie. All right, I'm going to get off the phone. You okay? You good? Please take the video we're down, we're sir. We've Can come to a disagreement. Is that, do we agree we disagree? Uh, I agree that you are a lying corporate media jackal, man. You are a lying corporate media jackal. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. What's that guy's name again? What's that guy's name again? Oh, I'm so livid. I don't even remember his name. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 
that was that was just that was just sleazy. Ben Hart, Ben Hart, some sort of director at WISN 12 News. He would have been the guy who uh, directed the freaking hit piece story on me. That's corporate media for you. Share this fucking video everywhere. Yellow. Hey, is this Dan? Yes. Just making sure I got your right cell phone number. And I'm not a liar. I need you to understand that. But I got the right cell phone number for Dan. Yes. Make sure the are, okay? And then we'll, we'll let them call you. Please, please take the video down, man. I would appreciate it. That's it, man. No, I've had enough. I'm going to let my lawyers talk to you, though, okay? About asking you to take about asking you to take the video down. I won't be any. I'm not trying to be funny with you. It's not a goof. It's not a goof. I'm not trying to be a, a, a funny guy. It's not my deal. Not me either. Please. Listen, I respect you. Listen, I'm gonna respect you. I'm not gonna call you stupid or a liar or dumb. I'm not gonna call you any of those names. I'm just telling you. I I, I wish I could have talked to you a little bit better with a little more respect. That's all I'll say. And I will let my lawyers talk to you because they can probably handle it. I'll tell you what, Dan. I'm not good at this being like I, I, I'm holding back, you know, and I hate that. If I want to talk to you the right way, I'm going to let my lawyers talk to you the right way, okay? Just ask, I was just asking you as a personal favor to take it down, man. That's it. I don't, I don't do favors for people who call me. I'll have the lawyer call, call you me. what? Call you what? You called me dumb. Man. No, I did not, sir. No, I did not. That's just that's just not me though. I didn't do I didn't say that. It, it sucks, right? That someone would represent you and do something like that that would put you so far behind. Behind? Yes. In order to talk to me, you don't put yourself in a in a in a in aggressive. Aggressive, dude! You sent you sick Antifa BLM psychos after me. What are you talking about? These people are trying to ruin my livelihood right now, man. Do you understand the scope of the situation? They're trying to, like, attack me. I understand that you have a, a YouTube link where you posted the video of yourself. But it shows the full context. That's what I'm trying to tell you, man. If you run the full context, you would have seen that they were the ones harassing other people and that you are weaving a narrative that's fake. Yeah, yeah. And that you have no journalistic integrity whatsoever. If you think it's unfair, this is me. I'm trying to be, now I'm trying to be even with you. If you think that that's what you want, would you like us to answer you about your your blog and why it's fair? No, I would like you to take the video down and issue a retraction. Because we're not going to retract the facts. Those are facts. No, it wasn't. It was <laughs> lies of omission. <laughs> You lied. You omitted the fact that they attacked people. You lied and omitted the fact that they attacked someone with a child in their hand. You lied. You lied and you omitted information. Are you yelling right now? I'm telling you the truth, sir. You can tell me how you want to talk to me with respect, guy. Dude, you are dicking me around and you're not telling me the truth. Swords with me again. I just told you this. You're Didn't call you dumb. You are a liar, man. You're lying compulsively. You are lying compulsively, man. Are you out of your mind? You omitted the fact that people swarmed around others, harassed them, threatened their jobs, and assaulted and did property damage. You omitted all of that from the story, bro. The video shows that clearly. Why did you omit that? Why did you why did you interview people uh, with masks on and didn't identify them didn't identify the subject of the story w why all that we, we didn't identify you man you didn't identify the subject of the story I'm saying why the lack of why the lack of integrity here that's what I'm Mr. Durst yes hold on. yes your lawyer called I want you to hear me again let's let's start from the beginning and said he wants to know why you didn't get identified. This is your lawyer. You said it's not you when he told me his name was you. Your lawyer, who was named Steve Selva, I looked it up. I tried to call his office before I even heard from him. And it, it didn't have a cell phone, and then it was a cell phone, and it didn't have a voicemail. And so anyway, I called him back. He called me back. Great. I talked to him. Called me dumb. But before he called me dumb, he said, I am upset that my client didn't get his name uh, why didn't we identify him in the thing? And I said, all right, I want to try to figure out who you are, what's your name again? And then he told me it was you. 
He said his name was you. And I said, I'm confused. And he said, that's because you're dumb. So I want you to just take it from my perspective, sit in my chair for a second. That's where I started when you called. And so now I'm talking to you after some, my third person in my newsroom has sent me that you called. This is the third person here to tell me you called into the newsroom. And so I'm happy to talk to you. I'm taking time away from my meeting so I can talk to you. Because everybody gets a chance to speak here. You're, you're just, you're, you've said a whole lot of words with no meaning, man. You said the same thing. So, I mean, I mean, okay, so I'll just, I mean, if you're not going to, if you're not going to take, the, if you're not going to take it down, if, if you ain't going to take it down, then I got nothing more to say to you, I guess. Man, I'm not being you around and I'm not dumb and I'm not, I'm not any of these things you think a liar. I'm a compulsive liar. No, what I am is the straight up truth teller you're going to get here. Ah, the buck stops here. Okay, fine. If you're not going to take the video down, then I guess I got nothing more to say to you. It's me, man. It's no one else except my lawyer. And if you are not satisfied with what I can tell you, then you can talk to my lawyer. And fine. To- I mean, uh, probably not. I mean, whatever, man. If you don't want to take it down, I got nothing more. Fine. Thank you, thank you, Dan. You don't have anything more because I told you I can change it easily. My lawyer can force me to change it. And say, you know what? I think we should change it because Dan's such a straight up guy. And that's what I'm giving you the opportunity for. Because what's, what's happened here is the way you started is not doing well for you in the communication process. So what I'm saying is maybe I should take myself out of it. Because I'm offended by what your lawyer said to me. You understand? I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. You are not making any headway by talking over me and calling me liars and all this. Because one thing I don't do is lie. We have evidence of you lying. You don't have Do you understand what a lie of omission is, sir? Do you understand what that is? As a journalist, like when you leave out half the story, you know, to make it look like a certain thing happened. Like I was instigating BLM protesters in Menominee Falls when really I was just talking about statistics and engaging. Yeah, what, did your, what, did your, what did your friend say at the end of it? Which what? They were, what do you want me to tell you? I've told you five times, man. These people were surrounding people. They were harassing people. Dan, Dan, I saw you. So I get it. And I understand. And I'm. And you know what I'm about? The First Amendment, I love it. I love when people speak and they speak their mind and they do what they want. It's a free country. A free country. It's so free. Everything is free. And that's what we do. We cover the story. We went out of our way as the, as the press to call you because frankly what happened out there was recorded on another camera so we had it so when we called you it was just to try like you know i really want this guy to have a chance you omitted it though why did you omit the assault 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 what assault i was assault i've been trying to tell you like seven times man you've been talking over me You've been talking over me, sir. I've been trying to tell you. I'll call you back at this number, okay? I gotta go to my next meeting, alright? Alright, man. Take care, man. Alright.